Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. So today I do have a Michael's Halloween. I got a little bit of Christmas stuff too, just like only two items or three um, for Michael's. So I ended up going to Michael's this past weekend. I didn't know they were having like a sale, like 50% off and then an extra 20% off and doorbuster deals. I had no idea until I walked in there and a lady approached me and told me all about it when I was looking at the Lean Max Christmas items. So, I end up picking up this Christmas tree. Now, I bought this for my husband. It was a $100. Um, you know, it was on sale. And I ended up paying $56, which is not bad. I would never pay $100 for something like this. I would probably wait to the last minute. Like, if I would to for Halloween. But my husband really loved this one. And the man, you know... He does come to the stores with me. He walks with me. He doesn't have to, but he does. So I did buy this for him. He really liked it. And it looks really beautiful at nighttime. I do love it. So this will do really great in our Christmas village. I also did pick up my Cookie Palace. Original price was $70. And I got it for $39, which is not bad. You know, I really like this. I love the little gingerbread guy. And it has like little cookies in here too, like in the window. I think that's really cute because I do have some gingerbread people and like a jelly bean railroad track for Christmas. So I thought this would be really good, like a new addition. So I'm really happy about this one. So here's what it looks like out of the box. Very nice. And then we're going to turn off the light and I'll show you. Look how bright that is. It is very bright and it does change colors. I think this is the only setting, right? Just this one? Yeah, it's the only other setting besides the stationary one. Oh, look, it's like doing weird stuff. Oh, Whoa! that's cool. Seizure warning. <laughs> we didn't even know it did that. I like that one. Ooh, <laughs> that's so cool. Okay, put the music on. It gets really loud. That is pretty loud. Okay, just put on regular light. Oh yeah, I like that a lot. I wish we could set it for if it was just to blink like red and white or something. That would be kind of cool. My husband also ended up picking up this like reindeer snowman. He's like going to eat the snowman nose, you know, because it's a carrot. It was um $12. I didn't know he picked this one up, but I found it in the bag. So he did get that one. He did like that a lot actually too. So on to my Michaels. So I got a little bit of everything. Everything is kind of scattered already throughout my home. I'm just trying to place things where... I think they will look good and move everything around, but my daughter already picked up stockings, okay? She's always talking about her dolls. Um, I'm kind of glad she did get these at Walmart because we were at Hobby Lobby. And you know, Hobby Lobby Christmas right now is 40% 40, um, 40 off. And they do have little mini stockings like this, but they're um, a piece. So they would be $0.59 cent a piece. And I was at Walmart and bam, I got four for pretty much 98 cents so I'm pretty glad that she decided to just go to Walmart and look for stockings instead of paying like 59 cents a piece for four little stockings so this is going to be for her dolls my daughter you know she's 10 she plays with American Girl our generation my life and every time we are somewhere she's always thinking about her dolls and those dolls could be pretty pricey like all their accessories or clothing so and she likes to do little things like this. So 98 cent for four little stockings. That's not bad. Okay, I could do that. That's for a doll. All right. So moving on. That's the other. I think that's going to be the last Christmas item. 
At Hobby Lobby, I'll start with Hobby Lobby since it's right here. I did pick up Chick or Treat Banner and it was $11.99 and you know it was 40% off. And I know they had one at Michael's I was eyeing for quite a while. Um, but I just ended up getting this one. So I'm probably going to hang this one on my mantle. I actually was looking for, I saw some really nice mantle um, decor pieces. And they were like $50. And I'm like, oh, I don't know. So I'm going to keep it simple. Put some lights, hang this on. And um, see what it looks like from there. I also found this. Now, my Hobby Lobby was already, they're not restocking Halloween. Um, Halloween went actually really fast. I want to say I was waiting to buy anything from Hobby Lobby until it went on sale. Now, Halloween did just recently go on sale there. Um, but Christmas and fall was on sale way before um, Halloween, which was weird. So, I did pick up this one. It's Eat, Drink, and Be Scary. And this was about like $5 again on sale. And then I got the cat one. I think these were the last two. It just says Happy Halloween. And you got your bat, pumpkin, and cat there going on. Um, what else? Okay. So my husband found these um, little wooden pumpkins. They're $3.99. And then, you know, I did get the 40% off on those. So I don't know what we're going to do with these here but he's thinking about you know stacking them together and doing like something like this around the home i'm not sure but that is all we did pick up from hobby lobby actually i do have more that's just on my mantle right now i did find the little children like creepy children that i like um i ended up finding some they, i thought they would be sold out but i had a few okay on to michael's you guys so my michael's Let's see my receipt. I paid, um, what did I pay? I paid quite a bit. I paid $196. Now, I know that might seem pretty pricey, but it would have been way more money if I didn't take, like, on their deal. And on my receipt, it says my original price was going to be $378.85. Yeah, this is why I really don't buy anything from Michael's. So this is my first time. But I've been saving. I usually give myself a budget for like my own mommy stuff each month, which is like 80 to 100 dollars. And I've been taking my own lunch to work. So I've just been letting my money roll over for my little mommy stuff and then I decide to spend it. I went a little over my budget but that is okay. Um <laughs> so I saved money because I haven't been like eating out at work. And, you know, just been letting it roll over. But I would never pay. Never, never pay. I think this was like 25 to 27 Yeah, $25. I would never pay $25 for something like this. I'm going to be honest. I would never do it. But I did like it. And it was only $10. So I did pick up this one. And I was looking for a white one. And I couldn't find it. Or one was broken, actually. And I also picked up this guy over here i think he's really cute and i think this one was 27 let me see nope 25 dollars. so um ten dollars it says on my receipt that i paid for these two which i don't think it is um bad i don't think that's bad at all so i also picked up these two little cute guys i think they'd be really cute you can put little tea lights on them the original price was four dollars I would never pay four dollars for something like that I believe I only paid a dollar fifty nine yep a dollar fifty nine and I only found two because I guess the sale had went on all week and I was out of town and I came back and I'm like oh, there is a sale on Halloween <laughs> so I only picked up two and I did find these um, taller ones these pin ones I believe these ones are $8. Yep. Original price, $8. Again, I would never pay $8 for anything like that. But I believe I paid like $3. Yeah, $3.19 a cent. And I only ended up picking five. I originally only wanted like two. And my husband, you can't go shopping with that man. Because <laughs> he will throw it in the cart. I was thinking about doing something on the walkway. 
um, like maybe putting them up on the walkway, but I don't think I'm going to do that because, you know, kids are going to kick them over and that always happens on Halloween time. And this year, I'm actually going to block off my lawn. I'm going to buy caution tape and stakes at Home Depot or Lowell's, whatever, and um, just put that around my lawn because we do have projections out there. And sometimes we get little children who walk up to the projections and touch things like the parents let them do that and I'm also afraid that someone's going to trip and then they're going to think it's like my fault you know because it's at night time I don't know you can't really trust anybody any anymore anyway so I don't like the fact that people are touching things you know because parents let their kids touch things which is new to me because when I used to take my kids trick-or-treating when they were younger they never touch anything in anybody's lawn it was all like looking you know but I guess it's different now. <laughs> it makes me feel old for saying that. And I did pick up these guys. I've been eyeing these for a while. These are $13. Now, I picked up the cat and the pumpkin. And I do have a skeleton guy. They remind me so much of Disneyland. Disneyland used to have an area called Big Thunder Mountain Ranch. And they closed that down to make way for Star Wars Land. And... That area was nothing but vintage. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hey, it's okay. Okay, let's just get through this. There was nothing but vintage items in that area. And it reminded me of it because I would see a cat there and stuff like that. So I really miss that area of Disneyland. Now, again, that was $13. And let's see. I paid... Five nineteen. That is the only reason why I bought these because I've been buying, I've been eyeing them for a while. Five nineteen, and here is my little skull guy. He's cute. Have the pumpkin already on the mantle. I'll show you that in a little bit. And then also, uh, what else is here from Michaels? Things are scattered. Oh, you know what? I do have lights. Can I see those? That bag right there. So. I ended up going back the next day before the sale was like over and I needed lights because I want to do something with my stairs. Now we've been really busy over here. I haven't really decorated yet. I've been busy with work. My daughter has been sick so we have been having a lot of doctor appointments, stuff like that, like a lot of personal things going on. And um, I wanted to really make a Halloween garland for my stairs but... I just really don't have the time so I bought a whole bunch of lights these were like uh, two something at Michaels with the sale and this was cheaper than Walmart believe it or not <laughs> and I'm gonna put some lights on my stairs and I bought um, you know like that cheese cloth I bought like a couple of those from the Dollar Tree so I'm gonna do something with those because when I was in Disneyland in the Jack and Sally area they had like little stairs and they had lights and like the cheesecloth. So that gave me an idea to do something simple like that to like, you know, get my home going on Halloween vibes. You know, because I mainly do stuff like this for my children. And even without my kids, if I didn't have children, I would still decorate <laughs> just for the feels. So here's what I have so far. So over here, I did find this ghost, ceramic ghost. He does turn on. It is going to light up and change colors. It was $3 at Target. Um, my son actually found this one. And he only found one. And we couldn't find any more. And then my other child, my daughter, found these ghosts. They're already, like, kind of a little bit ruined. But, you know, they were a dollar in Target dollar spot. So we found two. So we're just going to, you know, repaint those. And from Michael's, I did pick up these guys right here. These were... $12.99 so I paid about five something I got the one with the top hat and then I I needed this one to match it I like the little mouth on that one I think that's really cute and I also have these mariachi guys they were four dollars and again I got them on sale you know 50% off so only found three of them I like those a lot and I just I don't know what I'm gonna do with everything so that's why I have like things just scattered and I'm going to get a feel for what I'm going to do. But I feel like I have so much space in between items that I need some type of feel. Or like I might need to go back and get like some really cheap garland from, I don't know, Walmart or something. And to like cover these gaps. 
But I think that was cute. So here is my mantle. This is not what it's going to look like. I'm just, like I said before, trying to figure out what I'm going to do up here. Either I'm going to put out the Halloween homes up here or what. I don't know. Because I feel like I have too much space. I want to cover every single inch. That's how I work. But I don't think that's going to happen this year. <laughs> but, you know, I will keep adding on to it. But we did find this old Salem Broom Company. And this was $9.99. And we only pay like $3.19 at $3.20. Not a bad price, right, for something like this. Uh, my husband loved this. It's really good. It's a really good one. Here is the pumpkin that I was talking about. So again, this was a five, about five twelve, I believe, five nineteen around there. And then this witch. Now I found this witch in um, Goodwill. Goodwill. Yeah, that's where I found it. Oops. And she, well, someone took the price off. Three dollars. She was like three dollars, and her original price was thirteen. And she looked brand new. I have no idea what store she came from. It didn't say. It just said $13, like original price. But she looked brand new. Practically is brand new. I thought she was really cool looking. So for $3, definitely not bad. And then I found my creepy children. Let me bring it down. So I didn't think I was going to find this in um, Hobby Lobby. Because the last time I was there, they were sold out. But I ended up finding a whole bunch at the bottom. So $3.99 and then I got 40% off. So here's one child and then the other one with the pumpkin. I was actually trying to find one with a boy. I think he's like carving a pumpkin, but I couldn't find that one. So I got these two. This one's kind of more creepy because I feel like she's giving you like <laughs> a side eye. <laughs> like she's just looking at you. <laughs> anyway, so yes, I did find those and I'm kind of glad I did. And what else do we have here? Okay, these ghosts. These were $11.99, and again, I got 70% um, off. Chick or treat. Actually, this is my husband's finding. He found those. And then he picked up another one, and it says, um, Happy Halloween. So I ended up finding the black cat at TJ Maxx. This is the one my husband was eyeing too. And of course it lights up there. This was $17. Now I didn't pick it up the first time. And then I went back the next day. Because I'm like you know what. Let's get the cat. <laughs> you know. And I found one. I'm uh, guessing this went by really really fast. Because I'm lucky I found one. And I believe this was the only one that wasn't like kind of scuffed up. So it's really cute. Um, my husband really wanted that one. So again, you know, I did buy that for him. And what else do I have? Okay, so at Target on Cartwheel, I think it was 20 extra 20% 20 off on Halloween decor. And I also had a gift card too. Send money on a gift card already. So, you know, I didn't have to like spend like my own out of pocket money. So I picked up quite a bit of pumpkins. You know, they were $6. And I think... You know, with the cart roll app and everything, you save money. So, I love pumpkins. We picked up some pumpkins. I think we're going to decorate the fireplace down here with pumpkins. That's what we're planning on doing. And then at Halloween time, we're going to probably move them out to the yard. Um, so, we got this face one. He's cute. The little ones here, these were $3. But I am going to have to buy batteries for them. I think they're triple A. Got the one with the vampire fangs. And then, you know, your traditional jack-o'-lantern. I think that one's cute. And then we bought another bigger one with um, vampire fangs. And then I bought these, like, tall ones. Not that tall, but um, I bought two of them, so they are going to be the same. The price was, I think, $13. Yeah, $13. So, I think a total I spent on these pumpkins was, like, $48. And so I save money on tax mainly, like using the Cartwheel app. And then again, like I said before, I had money left over on a gift card, which was great for me. Because you know what, honestly, I wasn't really feeling um, Target's Halloween decor section at all this year. I just was not feeling it. Even when I went back, you know, I just didn't like it. But I feel like I need more pumpkins. I got too much space. So definitely going to probably pick up some more pumpkins. And then I do have my witch over here. Which I did pick her up in Tuesday morning. <laughs> Only caught one. I kind of wish I bought another one. A sitting down witch. 
you know, like a fancy one. But I only have one. I actually love her a lot. And I love her little lantern. I'm going to try to find a light for that, like a little mini LED light for that one. But I think she's really beautiful. I'm just hoping. You know, I don't think Tuesday morning does um, any sales or anything like that. I don't think they do. <laughs> Um, this is why I really don't do hauls because I really don't buy anything. So, this is kind of like my first big purchase, you know, because I'm saving money. I'm trying to be debt free. <laughs> I'm trying to do Dave Ramsey style. And it gets hard, you guys. It gets really hard, especially when I'm in home goods because I'm looking at all the home decor. And I'm like, oh, I want it. But do I need it right now? No. You know, so I'm trying to like, you know, save my money. Plus, I'm trying to move. So, you know, I'd rather move and then like be empty house, <laughs> you know, and then I'll just start all over. But I do like that, which, um, like I said before, I don't think Tuesday morning they never do a sale. But I'm going to go back this week and see if I can find another witch, more like a sitting down one. I think she's neat. I'm not sure if I already showed you this, but I did pick up these from the Dollar Tree. I think I only picked up four of them, though. I kind of wish I picked up more. I'm actually trying to look for um, candle, like the long candle holders, um, and I want to put these on them. I think that would be really cute. I did pick up a couple more items here. So I did find this cute guy. I actually think he's really, really cute. <laughs> I found him at TJ Maxx. They do have one with a pumpkin. He's like in a tuxedo outfit. I should have bought that. Um, $13. I should have bought the tuxedo friend guy. You know, then I would have two friends. But only have one. So I don't know where to put him or what to do with him. He's just going to be standing alone. But I think he's cute. I love his like teeth. I have no idea why. I love his face. I feel like he has a lot of character in him. I also found this clown piece here in Home Goods, and he was seventeen dollars. Now, all the time I've been in Home Goods, I've been wanting to buy, 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 like I said before, and it was really, really hard not to. But this one really stood out to me because he was a clown, and I felt like he was a little different than everything else in the store. And I'm just put a little tea light in here. That one's already dying, so I'm gonna put a new one in there. I think he's cute. I love his little outfit. I wish they did have more of this style, but like in different colors, but they didn't. They had like that pumpkin one and like a white pumpkin a one mummy. and a mummy. The mummy, I felt like he he was cute, but too, too kiddish for me. I don't know, but I really like this guy. So in this bag, this is from the 99 cent store. I did pick up these um, banners. I bought two of them, like Halloween garland and 99 cent. It has like, you know, the cat, the pumpkin and the skull. I kind of feel like it gives it, like, you know, that vintage vibe. I really wish I could have found the banner with the pom-poms on it. I believe Michael's had one, but at that time, it was, like, really pricey. So, there's no more. I didn't buy that. I ended up buying two of those. I hope I did. I don't see it in here. I swear about two. Oh, no. Things are missing. Yep, things are missing. Let's see. But anyways, this bag right here is nothing but full of figures that I got from the 99 cent store. Again, I believe I showed this off before, but I bought a couple of these pumpkins. You know, 99 cents. I'm going to let my children pick those out. And a couple of these figures. Actually, this one I think came from Walmart last year. Which is funny, I knew I had bought something like this at Walmart last year. And this was a dollar fifty-four in Walmart, and I found the exact same ones at the ninety-nine cent store. And it buying more, and I was like, ah. But yeah, so I have a lot of duplicates of stuff. Got the skull guy. We have the witch. She has like a little snaggle tooth going on or something. <laughs> oh, what else do we have? The cat. He was a dollar forty-eight or dollar eighty-four at Walmart last year. Now, I believe this one might be, oh, nope, $1.84 again from Walmart. Just a different face we got. We do have another witch. Funny. Um, let's see. I think this one, I don't know. 
Yep, this is from Walmart. See? And I'm picking a lot of the same ones out. I had no idea. I believe this one was from the 99 cent store. Yeah. And then we have this cat girl over here. <laughs> More pumpkin. <gasps> it broke. I was like, what happened? <laughs> it broke. I could probably fix it. And we have this guy. It's cute. Um, oh no, what a bummer. It was a clean break too. Well, you know what? I think I could probably sit them around like this. I mean, you wouldn't even know. <laughs> I'll do something with that on the stairs or something. And then more of the big pumpkins. Let me see what else do we have in here. Do have a ghost. Oh, that one. Is that the same one? <gasps> Two broke? Really? But they were two of the same. See how funny that is? I thought it's like two of the same. So the body has to be in here. But it's probably my fault it broke because I probably just like sat it aside. Oh yeah. I could do something with those guys. That's alright. And then the same guy. See, I ended up buying all the same ones. So funny. So funny, but where is the other garland? I bought two garlands. I better find that. And then here's another pumpkin guy. <laughs> yeah, I swear I bought two of these. And then I think in here is more glass pumpkins from the Dollar Tree. I know it's broken. Yeah, these are more the same glass ones from the Dollar Tree. And I got more pumpkins behind me. So I have these large pumpkins I bought from Joann's. I got large one, like a small one, and like a medium large. Um, because my husband, like I said, he does these um, little effects on them in the front yard. That's why this year I'm going to block off the front yard so people don't touch things. And then I don't know what we're going to do with this this year i think we're going to end up doing it from the inside of the home like through the window last year we had it out but it got really windy so kind of like you know it <laughs> ruined the effect but you guys i think that is going to do it for my michael slash hobby lobby a little bit of christmas target halloween haul and like I said before, I normally will never purchase anything full price like for Halloween. Especially I like those ceramic pumpkins. I think that was a favorite. $10. I swear that is a good deal because TJ Maxx the other day. Oh my gosh. TJ Maxx has no more Halloween right now. It is Christmas time in TJ Maxx. But they only have one little area. So I might go back and film that. But... I went to TJ Maxx to see if I could find any more vintage boxes of the creepy children. I know they're gone, but you know, that's what happens when you don't pay full price and you miss out on all that stuff. All right, you guys, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to everybody who leaves a comment. I really do appreciate it. That does help the channel grow, like in the comment section. Um... And I usually do respond within the day or I will try to, like, mainly I stay up at night time to try to respond to everyone's comments. Um, but I just want to say thank you so much, you guys. I mean, this channel is growing. And if you were here with me from the beginning, like I said before, I really hate hauls because I really have nothing to haul, actually. Like, if I'm at the store and I bought hangers, who well, about a pair of hangers, you know what I mean? I don't buy, like big things that are haul worthy like even if i'm in the dollar tree i buy like five things mainly cleaning products i buy my comet there i buy the you know soft scrub for the bathroom lysol gloves to clean my bird cage <laughs> so on that i do want to answer a question that i get asked quite a bit if i do make any extra money from the stores i do not make no money from the stores they did not pay me to go in their store and to browse i wish <laughs> i mean wouldn't that be an ideal job but then you know i feel like i would have to say nothing but great things you know i think things are cute but i don't like everything that i see you know and sometimes like at big lots when i'm in big lots sometimes i feel like their prices have way jumped like 
I feel like they're not what they used to be and the quality has kind of gone down a little bit on, you know, like simple things like a dish towel, you know. So no, I make no extra money from the stores. I also do not use Amazon affiliate links. I know everybody goes hard on that in their videos. I do not. I feel like if I found it on Amazon and I found it and I'm just going to give you the link for free. So I make no extra kickback. So I don't do any of that stuff. I also get products sent to me. Now, I haven't even shared any of the products that were sent to me recently because I didn't like them. I got a laptop table, you know, like a little side table you could find, like at Home Goods or Big Lots, you know. You could put your laptop on it, work from the couch or somewhere in the house, you know what I mean? I got sent like two of them. I did not like them. They were very flimsy. They tipped over super easy. I got sent um face mask i love face masks but i didn't like them and you know what it was a subscription box for face mask and they did offer me a code to give to you guys to save some money but then you know i get you know a kickback from that but i didn't like them and i didn't want to put that out there like these face masks that i was sent you could get them at tj maxx you get a 10 pack for five dollars they wanted $25, you know what I mean? I felt like that wasn't fair, and I was just hawking something just to make some extra money, which is nothing wrong with making extra money, but I wasn't comfortable with that when I show how you could find them for cheap already in TJ Maxx and Marshalls. So yeah, those face masks were the same ones I could find in TJ Maxx, the exact same ones. It was crazy. But that is it, you guys. Um, I answered that question. And I am going to go because my dog is barking. My birds are chirping. And I will see all of you guys in the next video.